it is prime time for Sam. And here we are playing Metroid. I hope I hope you can I was gonna say I hope you can hear the music and I realized I have to turn it up on my end so I can hear the music. There we go. <sighs> She's in the prime of her life, or how does that song go? The prime of my life, and I, I, I don't remember how that song goes. Yes, I, I did fight that boss in Metroid Fusion. I guess, for the record, if you are watching this on YouTube, hello. <laughs> um, I have been playing Metroid Fusion in my spare time, so I can play Metroid Dread after finally. Um, and uh, I won't, I won't get into spoilios, but uh, yeah, Endora, I did in fact fight that boss that you mentioned. Um, hang on, I need to think about where I'm going real quick. So that's right, I tried to go this way and then I got stopped. So I have to go all the way back through here, oh god, to the Talon Overworld West, because I want to go to the Chozo Ruins, because there are spider ball tracks there. All right, yes, good. I think I think that is the uh, the fastest way to get to where I want to go, as, a, as opposed to going through Fendrana. And also very fast, just yeah, walking directly into the fire. Man, I gotta remember how to play this game because I've I've been playing um, fusion. And now every everything is weird, and I'm taking so much damage. Why am I using a... what I should be doing? Oh, man, I'm using my super missiles. Cripes! Hang on a second. Oh yeah, and I'm just hopping the lava now. What is going on, Mori? Cripes! Hang on. Remember how to play. Remember how to play. This is not Yoshi's Island. Okay. Didn't even really need to fight all those guys. I could have just gone for it, and I didn't. But we're here now. Uh, okay. Door. Door I need is up up here. Yes. I'm gonna make sure I go to the correct door, not not the door of disappointment. Ah. Uh. Anyway, before I got super distracted by injuring myself on all of those jetpack pirates, um, yes, Endora, I did, I did fight that boss. I did think of you. Oh, you guys. I can just ignore you guys. But also, like, what is with the hitbox on, on that boss? It's so, I found that boss was really hard to sort of stand in the sweet spot to hurt it without injuring myself. Did you ever share the story of the original Metroid Prime's launch day? You were so excited you called a friend on the phone, shouted, It's Prime Time! And then hung up. <laughs> a couple of minutes later, they messaged you on AIM. Remember AIM? And said, Joe, you suck. Ah. But it was Prime Time. You were just doing your, your civic duty. Letting them know that Sammy is here in three dimensions for you. AOL Instant Messenger is what AIM is. I don't believe it exists anymore. I mean, what do we have for messenger programs? Apparently, I think ICQ is not a thing any longer. I only have a really vague recollection of ICQ, but that was like the old one. You, um, alright. You don't stop. I have to roll under you. Okay. The last levels of Yoshi's Island really looks like it would be tough for kids. Yeah, that... I think that game is genuinely pretty tough, regardless of age. Especially if you want to get 100%, which, of course, I'm, I'm not doing, because I value my sanity. I mean, clearly not enough, because I am streaming. But I value my sanity enough that I know not to mess with 100% in Yoshi's Island. That would just be a nightmare for everybody involved. Y yeah? Regional climate analysis complete. Abnormally low temperature ruin site. Is this where I'm going? It is. Antichamber, it's so far. 
climate anomaly detected. Oh boy. Okay, I have to make sure I was at my destination before I release the button and I did not fall into the lava. Okay. It was the first game you remember beating, so you don't think it's hard, but you never 100% it. I think, I don't know, difficulty is relative, and I think a lot of Super Nintendo titles that I, like, I was accustomed to playing are, I think, objectively pretty difficult, like Yoshi's Island and uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, still one of my favorite games of all time. But when that's all you have, and you have a lot more free time as a small child, um, then you, you kind of have to get good as a matter of course, because you only have whatever games your parents are kind enough to buy and or rent for you. So you better get good enough to beat them. What is that, a chamber for ants? Yeah, it's where your mom's sister hands out. Hangs out, ugh. Ugh. Talon Overworld second song. Oh, so you're right. I can't, I can hear it, but not as well as uh, I normally would be able to hear it if I was playing on my own. Just because I'm, I also have to hear the dulcet tones of my voice, and unfortunately, so do all of you. I haven't looked at our ship in a while. Oh, Luce is here. Speak of the little guy. Hello, Luce. So, how did, how did Donkey Kong Country 2's Lost World go? Oh, thank you. Oh. I'm just gonna go. Uh, just contemplate my place in the universe in a second. Will I save and restore? Okay, we're here. Man, I love the rain effect on the visor. It's a little thing, but it's such a nice detail. Anywho, you know, there's a whole, there's a room under here, and I haven't gone here yet because I can't do much in there right now, I don't think, but... For for the, the Metroid fans in the audience, I remember it's there. Don't worry. Okay, uh, where do I actually need to go? Is back where I came to? To the root cave, I think? No. I need to go... Uh, where is the door I'm looking for? Um, that's a Magmore. Okay, that's, that's the elevator I want over there. So back where I came from, essentially, but I just wanted to go back to my cool ship. Can't see, like, the opaque parts of the visor, like, around the edges of the screen. I do believe you can dim or even disable some of the UI, maybe? I think that's an option. But I find I don't mind the visor, personally. I don't find it distracts me. I could see why one might want to disable the UI, though, for a more immersive experience. Oh, you beat the ice stage. Good job. Ever listen to my own voice while I stream? What, like, like an echo effect? Hang on, let me just load my Twitch page in the background, and then you can hear me twice. Just have to eradicate the beetles. Okay, so there was a spider ball track in here. And I assume if I go in here, I'm going to be stopped by uh, a device or obstacle that requires a more different upgrade that I don't currently have out. But I'm going to go there anyway. Because that was also what my experience was like the first time I played this game. Man, I did a lot of damage. Jeez. Um, so really, I'm just being authentic to the Metroid experience, which is bumbling around going, Okay, I have this item, I can go this way, and then you can go part of the way, but then you get blocked again. Okay, yeah, there's some spider ball tracks. Oh, half pipe detected. Is there anything else in here? Mm. Magnetic rail system track. 
In Morph Ball mode, press and hold ZL when close to this type of surface. Use L to move the ball along the track. Release ZL to disengage from the surface. Caution! A Morph Ball bomb will briefly disengage the ball from the track. I really feel like I have to... Oh, can I scan the half pipe? Huh. Stonework in sample region has been refined to atypical smoothness. You can't tell me the Chosa were not shredding like Tony Hawk. Anyway, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to just relearn. Hang on, actually, before I go that way, not you, not you. Oh, there's sandstone down here. I knew there was something. Great. Can we just... Can you hurry up, please? Like, I, I want to get rid of this sandstone, but I know you're just in my way. Please. I'm not impressed by your mating dance. Alright. She designed her helmet to look like this ship. Anyway, yeah, I gotta, I gotta re-remember all my controls here, because I'm thinking about, like, a, the controls of Metroid Fusion. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Michel, Michel, yeah, Michel expansion. Oh, okay. It's gonna feel so good to play a brand new Metroid Prime game for the first time in the better part of two decades. Yeah, what about Federation Force? You played Federation Force, but at what cost? Wow, another Michel expansion just for me. By the way, speaking of, of Metroid, I only saw a little bit of it, um, but uh, I saw a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, courtesy of Andorra, of, uh, of Other M. And boy, what, what an insulting game. And I'm, 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 I'm even just going to put aside just the casual sexism, of which there is a lot. Oh, well, that is not the button I want. I, like, feels like B should be jump, but it's not. That It's it's zoom away. But uh, what an insulting game. Again, not just the casual sexism, but just... What? I didn't... I didn't press anything. Why did I roll away? Look, even, even Samus is like, I don't want to be here. You're bringing up that other game. Yeah, just from even a design perspective. Why do I keep unrolling? Yeah, we don't talk about that one, and I have a better appreciation, I think, of why. Also, it just, it looks like butts. To use a very technical term, it looks like butts. Like, when you, you look at the way Prime looked on the GameCube, and then you look at, at Other M and just, ugh, it looks so muddy. Okay, I'm here. What is going to prevent me from progressing in this room? Large stress factors can be seen on the surface of this brimstone pillar. And then I can see... Aha, uh -huh, there's, there's guys up there. But they're too far away. I can't scan these guys. Uh, I don't want to roll. One, two... Is it missiles that broke brimstone? Yeah. Is that- did I break it? This pillar no longer provides structural support. Okay, there are multiple pillars I have to break. That's still too far away. There's another one. Okay. Actually, let me just... Would it- no, a super missile wouldn't be more effective. Would it? Because it's five missiles to launch a super missile. These break in less than five. Okay, where? There must be another one somewhere. I mean, I say that, but I don't know if I can actually access uh, a lot in here. Maybe. Is there anything in like these these little tunnels for me? I don't think so. No, I can't get in them. 
yes, yeah, that's what I've heard people say that, oh, Metroid Other M's story is terrible, but the gameplay is okay. What's happening? What's happening? For that, there were good ideas in Other M, but it uh, did not work. Well, hang on. I need I need to read this this juicy discussion. Prime was only good in the GameCube. Wii mode was garbage. Ow, hot takes. I'm I'm getting blasted. Will I read these hot takes? No. Oh, it's only fair. Hang on. I need to scroll the chat back down. <laughs> Plated puffer, mutated puffer with reinforced epidermis. Phase on exposure has created a mutant strain of puffers on Talon Four. They have developed plated skin, making them harder to burst. Concussive weapons can still do the job, however. The gas within the plated puffer is just as deadly as that within their cousins. Well, we'll never know, because I'm down here now. Is there anything I can scan down in the muck? The mire? This miserable mire! What is down here? There is a passage down here. Now, will I be able to do anything in here? No, because I can't jump underwater. If only there was a way I could somehow circumvent underwater physics. But surely not in this game. You know, well, hang on. I'm avoiding weighing in on this too much, but I will say... Oh, wow, that was- that was efficient. They took each other out. As someone who has been a Zelda fan for a long time, I respect what it is, but Breath of the Wild has a lot of things that are not what I look for in the Zelda series. At what? Is there another- oh, they just keep coming! Hey, like, excuse me. Excuse me, why is there just this endless parade of- Talonian wheezings, coughings. Oh, come on, please. No, I just. Ugh. Oh man, I'm gonna die up here if I don't move. Why? Why is there like a coughing convention going on here? Man, I didn't even blow them all up with the super missile out of spite. That's really disappointing. I guess I'll just from here. That's how the humidity in Florida feels right now. What, the smog? Okay. Hey, you... You deflected my missile. And now I'm thinking, what do you mean missile's low? And then I recall that, again, I've been playing Metroid Fusion and I have like over a hundo missiles in that game. Not, not so much here. Uh, am I going to be able to break that before I run out of missiles? As long as I don't have them bounce off this oculus. Okay. Can I reach that? Or is there more? Okay, here. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, and then the, the coughings are resuming. It'd be really swell if um, some of them drop some missiles for me so I could continue breaking all of these, but I need missiles to destroy them. Oh, for the love of... Excuse me. I'm not gonna have enough missiles to break everything up here unless those, those coughings drop more, which they've been... Oh, they blew each other up. They've been very reluctant to do so. They've just been dropping uh, health, which is fine, considering I took so much damage standing in their mire. Really, none of you are going to drop missiles. You're going to make me descend this entire tower to get more missiles. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Fine. This portion of the game requires a specific number of missiles. Great. Where are all those, those little parasites? that love to hang out in tunnels like this. It would be very convenient right now. No, I'm not dealing with you. Mash my face against the blocks. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna do much good for my current situation, but maybe it'll make Samus feel a little better. Oh, Brimstone blocks are really in it now. Okay, we're 
are some missiles. What, what are these called? Parasites? Oh, they're scarabs. Okay. I could not remember what they were called. Sorry for getting your names wrong, friends. I'll mash my face against the blocks, then I can use the health instead of missiles. I don't feel like that's quite an equivalent exchange. Hang on, how do I make them respawn? Will they respawn if I just leave, or do I have to go two rooms away? They will not just respawn, but I hopefully have enough missiles now. 31. Ah, <sighs> knock on brimstone. Now I gotta do this whole rigmarole again. So while I am backtracking, I hope folks are doing well today. I hope you had a nice week. I am my usual discombobulated because I uh, very foolishly sat down for a nap this afternoon. And then, you know, you get that sort of sleep inertia where you wake up from a nap, but somehow you feel worse than when you started. Well, not worse so much in that I don't feel as fatigued, but it took me a long time to just actually get back up out of bed. Just big sleepy. So tired. Thank you. I am, I think, doing better. Now that it is a weekend, and not only the weekend, but it's a long weekend. Um, as here in Canada, uh, July 1st is Canada Day. So I will get Monday off. Wow. A whole extra day to sleep in. Hello, Tenrose. You're also Canadian? Ah, uh, heck yeah, represent. Not you, Oculus. You have to work Canada? Oh. Well, what a load of hooey. What kind of, um, what kind of hoser would make you work on Canada Day, eh? That's just not a done thing. Okay, pl please tell me I actually have enough missiles for this. Please. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Ruining the structural integrity. Please don't tell me I need even more. I need even more. I need even more. Ugh. I don't have enough. Um, you know what? I'm just, just in case, uh, big, big Metroid fans here in the audience. Um, whatever is lying at the top of this spire, because I cannot recall, can I get it with what I currently have? Or am I going to painstakingly way and make my way up there and then discover you need a more different upgrade? I can get it. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Deja vu all over again. I thought I, thought I would need enough. I just need missiles. I just need lots of missiles, I guess. It's not like somehow resetting itself when I leave the room, right? Like the the tower is not somehow re reconfiguring itself, regrowing itself. Oh gosh, no! People can come and go, and I never expect people to be chatty. I like the lurking. The tower re it is resetting itself. Okay, I thought I was losing my mind. But I just, I need to come back with more missiles. Well, heck. How many missiles do I need to actually successfully get up there? I mean, here's some more for me as soon as I can get in the hole. <laughs> Maybe I need to deal with this guy first. Do you, um, do you mind? Hello, Jonas. It is not my first time through. It's actually my second time through. But it's been a hot minute, and I don't remember very much. So it's practically my first time through, with a few caveats. I'm glad I played it for myself first, not just so I could better take in the atmosphere, but so I embarrass myself slightly less. Uh, very slightly. Are you going to drop any missiles for me? No, you're not. Why, why would you do anything of the sort? I bet Samus would be good with the skateboard. Let me in. Let me in. 
Let me in. Okay, I got it. I almost had enough missiles. I had 20 more I could have picked up. What, like, you mean missile expansions that I've missed? Or just enough missiles to actually get to the top of that tower? Why is it regrowing, though? That's what I want to know. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Grain of salt. Also, what is this? I haven't been any... Oh, that's right, because I forgot I could just jump. I missed that whole thing. Oh, I had 30 out of 50. Well, in my defense, I... It's not that I didn't realize that the tower was regrowing, but it's more I... I saw it and somehow my brain didn't want to parse it because... Why on earth would these these stone blocks re-solidify? Why would the tower uncollapse itself? I guess, you know, it makes sense in this universe where everything is done by inserting an orb into a device. Uh, why not? Why not have the towers regrow? Am I actually going where I need to go? I am. Okay. Samus, Aaron, Pro Skater 1 and 2. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. I really should be better about not just face-taking things. I feel like I've gotten complacent in Prime compared to Fusion. Because again, I've been playing through Fusion for the first time and everything in that game hits like a truck. And after playing Fusion and then going to Prime and you think... Everything feels so gentle in this game. And I could I could walk through these scarabs and only lose, you know, one energy tank worth. And not five sixths of my entire health bar. Oh, there's another missile expansion over there. I don't even need my missiles on you. I need to get rid of the nest. Okay, there's another one up here. I want that missile expansion, but I gotta get rid of all of you first. Okay, is that everybody? Oh, thank you! I really appreciate that. If anybody wants to hire me for some voiceover work, please. You know where to find me. The economy's in shambles. Every enemy in fusion takes nearly half a tank. So, hang on, what... What is this? What is this material? Structural integrity of metal is stable. No flaws detected. Oh. Never mind. Okay. You know, it's it's validating to hear from, uh, again, the other... The, the previous... Or not previous. The, the well-established Metroid fans in the audience that, yeah, no, enemies in Fusion do hit like a truck. It's not just me. Thinking, did I suddenly get exponentially worse? At this series, no. Everything just hurts so bad. I haven't been in this room either. Hang on. Um, here we go. Oh, it's just a save station. I just... I walked past the save station before, huh? Oops. No harm, no foul. The saddest part of this remaster is that room, where the reflective surface is no longer reflective, really. That does feel like a peculiar oversight, considering how detailed this remaster is otherwise. It would have been cool to see uh, the upgrades, and also, you had mentioned before, Joe, that um, in the GameCube version, if you linked up Metroid Fusion, you could get the Fusion suit, which would have been cool to see. I like the blue. I've seen pictures of what the fusion suit looks like in this game, but it's been a while. Does it look as... What is the word? Impressively... grody? Visceral? If I... I scan? Yeah. Um, as it does in fusion proper. I know I expressed during Yoshi's Island a bit, but I really like the, the horror vibe that fusion has. And just the design of Samus's suits. I have the gravity suit in that game now. Um, it just looks so viscerally unpleasant, but unpleasant in a good way. Like the way it kind of pulsates is a really cool effect. 
Yeah, the fusion suit just isn't in the re this remake for some reason, which is very sad. The Thousand Year Door remake stole all the glossy lacquer. You know, I'll, I'll accept it. I mean, this is still a pretty dang glossy remake. I would play Paper Metroid, let's be real. I would play Paper anything, really. It's a cute art style. It'd be cool if they replaced it with the Dread suit. Oh, even better. So Dread takes place after Fusion, yes. Mostly I'm going off of the fact I was told you should play through Fusion before Dread for plot reasons. Um, hence why I've been playing Fusion before Dread. And I assume Dread takes place after Fusion. Yes, okay, cool. Going by the, uh, the blue suit she is sporting. I am interested in playing Prime 2 and 3. I, I mean, I would love a remaster of them as well, but I don't know if such a thing is forthcoming. So, if worse comes to worse, I could find a way to play the GameCube uh, originals. I don't know if the, the Wii trilogy is easily accessible since the eShop is all shut down. And I would like to do on console as opposed to emulation, but if emulation it must be, then so be it. I think the trickiest thing, honestly, would be having to go back to the uh, GameCube control scheme where you don't have the twin sticks, which is what I'm using right now. I would have to get used to the original, which I'm sure I could, but it would definitely take a lot of adjusting to after playing this. Gosh darn it. Okay, is that... There we go. I could easily buy it online if I want to pay like $90. Oh boy. $90 American, don't forget. Probably. To reiterate, the economy is in shambles. I realize... Excuse me. I realize now that I don't know much about the Metroid series timeline, as I've only gotten to play a few entries in the Metroid series. So, which is the first canonically? Is the the first Metroid game, or is it Super Metroid? No, that won't be, be later. Because, of course, the last Metroid is in Captivity of the Galaxy. Is it peace? What am I saying? Doi. Okay, am I almost at the top? Of this hideous gauntlet. Oh! The Wave Buster? Is that what this is called? Hope I didn't say the wrong name and embarrass myself. Wave Buster. This powerful attack uses missiles while active. Use the wave beam, press and hold ZR A to charge, then press R to fire. Hold it for continuous fire. Cool. Let's let's read Samus's thoughts on uh, is it under beam combo? I assume the wave buster is the wave charge combo. This potent blast auto seeks targets in the area. Wave buster is a sustained fire charge combo. It costs ten missiles to activate, then five missiles per second afterwards. It will seek enemies without a lock on. Well, uh, yes, that one is very expensive to use. If memory serves, but I do remember it being very useful to me against one particular foe at a very particular time in the game. And for that, I will always uh, hold a special place in my heart for the Wave Buster, even if largely I found it impractical in most situations because of the massive ammo cost. So it's the first Metroid, the Prime Games, two, three, uh, or, or, uh, sorry, sorry, we Primes? When you say Primes, you mean Primes 2 and 3? Or what? what is Metroid 2 and 3? Okay, so it's one, the Prime Games, two, three, other M, we don't talk about that, four and five. But yeah, I can see why they wouldn't be jumping to remaster the other two Prime games, because, yeah, uh, 
prime floor is taking so many resources. Okay, there's this whole area which I've not gone through. Can I get through here now? Let's try. Okay. Can I reach? I'm just going to ignore all of you. Good day, ladies. Again, I should really resist the urge to just walk through these guys. Oh, have a good one. No, 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 uh, no umbrage taken. I don't mind if, if people would rather play a game themselves as opposed to seeing it streamed. I mean, I think I said that a lot during Tunic, especially. If you like what you see in Tunic, play Tunic. Don't worry about, um, watching me. I didn't read this bird lore? What's wrong with me? Chozo script translated. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We Chozo have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison, as it is already spread seeping into the planet and hardening. Yeah, lights on, headphones off, I concur. No structural weaknesses detected in metalwork, then why would you point this out to me? Hey, this metal is rock solidly constructed, nothing you can do about that. Just thought you should know. Okay, so there is this as well, but Wow. I guess I can- I'll check that out eventually. I think I said the first stream of this. Dang it. But, um, when I first played this game, I tried hopping in here when the water was still poisoned. I, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It hurts real bad. You bought Metroid Prime and forgot. But well, you did. Oh. Well, perhaps you should get on that. Good- good job past you. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I guess it was just saying, hey, you can't blast through here to get this missile expansion. Just so you know. Buying so impulsive, it's like surprise gifting to yourself. I guess that's one way to spin it. Okay, so now I need to go this way. Or I could just stare at a wall. That works too. I feel like I should have my scan visor out in case there's more things I forgot to scan. I've gotten complacent. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't go in here, because it's real hot. Oh, and I need I need to grapple. Can I do anything in here? Without uh, the grapple beam? I do remember going down here during my first playthrough and thinking, this this feels like this would contain a secret. No, no, it just hurts real bad. Oh, yeah, I don't think there is anything down here for me, probably. So, never mind. You know, what is nice about this game, compared to Fusion, is that I'm not compelled to randomly bomb everything in hopes that I'm not missing out on a secret. And I kind of forgot, the first little while I was playing Fusion, that sort of like, like a Super Metroid, or I guess the original Metroid, that there is hidden stuff everywhere, and you just kind of have to get used to compulsively bombing everything. And I missed, I think, probably a lot of upgrades because of that. Like, I have the gravity suit in Fusion, but I only have... How many energy tanks do I have? Like, nine or ten. And there's two rows of them, so I'm missing a lot. But I didn't think to bomb... Oh, there's missiles over there. I didn't think to bomb everything um, for quite some time. Okay, where... I actually go. So I can't get in here right now because I can't grapple. Uh, so I guess there's that antechamber. I can't get here because I can't get underwater. Okay. So this is where I need to go. Uh, the furnace is there. 
Okay, well, there's a door I can't open there. Um, on the other side, is there a door I can open there? How do I access that antechamber? I know there were there was a room with spider ball tracks, but where was it? I'm trying to remember on the map how I wish there was a pin system. Oh, it's the sun tower. That had spider ball tracks in it, but I don't need to go back up there. I don't think. The thing with backtracking in these games is it's see it's like hang on let me try again in games like these is that you think you've seen it all when you've been through the same rooms after three four times but the truth is there's always some hidden secrets everywhere even in places you wouldn't think of it's so true so i need to find a way to get i guess i can just head over there and then hope that i make some progress i suppose Being some minor disappointment with how the doors looked in this game. How so? Like, how they look visually or some other indicator, um, like how they look on the map. It's like finding a chip in the Statue of David, huh? Are you indirectly comparing Metroid Prime to Michelangelo? You're not wrong. I, I, I want to think that maybe Michelangelo would have appreciated Samus. I mean, who doesn't appreciate Sammy? Am I just going? Yeah, I'm going back to that room. This is not where I need to go. I need to go the other way. Just kidding. The visual effects. Okay. Is this where I need to go? Okay, yeah, here. Imagining a large marble Metroid. There's gotta be like vaporwave. Yeah, I'm normally low temperature is a ruined site. Yeah. I know. I'm go I'm going. I'm trying. How come I'm in charge of your climate control? It's not my fault that the Chozo left the thermostat too low. You know dads will complain when you mess with the thermostat. Now it's my responsibility all of a sudden. The Metroid Prime should be in a museum. David's old news. Well, only one of them is in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna use the save room. Why? Because it's here. A lot of people have mixed feelings on this game. They say the backtracking is too much or the map is confusing and the combat is mundane to each their own, but none of those things were an issue for you. I mean, personally, I can say I like this a lot. I like the exploration. I like the wandering around and the sense of discovery. I suppose my fear is that the backtracking might make for mundane stream viewing. Which is also one of the reasons why I experienced this game, and my intent also is to experience Dread for the first time on my own. So I don't have to worry over much about playing efficiently. But even then, because I only remember bits and pieces, there's still there's still gonna be backtracking. I don't remember entirely where to go. Okay, this this is not the room I need to go to right now. I've already been in here. Fortnite put essentially uh, what is all of Guitar Hero in what really? I've never played Fortnite, but I do recall reading about some confusion faced by uh, Japanese players of Elden Ring. I believe it was Elden Ring. Because you know in Souls-like games you can leave those those messages on the ground, but you can only use sort of the, um, the words the game has already given you in its vocabulary, so you can't write whatever. And... English-speaking gamers were writing Fortnite, like N-I-G-H-T, um, just for the meme, for the bit, and uh, because those those uh, words are translated across languages, um, the Japanese players would see 
Fortnite in Japanese and would think, oh, is there like a, something that, like a castle or a fort or something that only appears at nighttime or after two weeks or something? But but no, it's it's the game. I do concur. Metroid Prime is a very solitary experience. And I think, too, Dak, that you were saying that you wanted to experience this on your own. That's how I would recommend playing it. Oh, I didn't... I didn't blow this up, or it, it reformed itself, which is possible. Maybe in this universe, there is... If there's any other Hollow Knight fans here, there's some in-universe equivalent of the Mender Bug that is fixing things when Samus is not present. There's, like, one remaining Chozo janitor. That's just going around patching things up. Okay, here we go. Here's progress, I hope. Whoops. Try jumping, liar ahead. Now, I've, I've only played, uh, like, a little bit of Dark Souls during, like, limited time free trial. And I've not played Elden Ring, but surely plummeting off cliffs to your death is just part and parcel of that game, and you just have to learn to laugh about it, right? Hollow Knight is awesome. <laughs> Language is allowed. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands? Or is it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago, in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed. And if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are here, on Talon Four. Then, at least, there is hope for its eradication. Look, I, you could uh, you could hope that it's on Talon Four only, but I like to think it made its way to Earth, and that's how we got Mountain Dew. Whatever the blue stuff is called. Is that the Baja Blast stuff? I don't know. I don't drink it, but surely Phazon is like some sort of noxious gamer fuel. Plated Parasite. Hardy member of the Parasite family. Invulnerable to most weaponry. A cousin to the Parasite, these creatures are known for their amazing resilience. Field studies suggest a weakness to morph ball delivered weapon systems. How specific. But also field studies. Who else is using morph balls out in the field? Okay, so where can I go in this room? Not through that door, obviously. What's this? The Vendasium portion of the floor here is weak. What breaks Vendasium again? It's not, it's not one of these bombs, is it? Does anybody remember offhand if I have the thing that breaks Vendasium so I don't have to go rereading my whole inventory? Uh, where do I go up? I don't have it. Thank you! Can I get up here? Oh, there's, a, there's a hole for me to crawl into. This is the hole I came from, right? I don't remember what hole I came from. This is definitely going to be the one I came from. Nope. Okay, it's different. It's different. We're good. Ugh. More switches out of scanning range. Okay. Out of scanning range. Out of scanning range. Nothing I can scan in here. I guess I just... I have to get Tony Hawk with it. Wait. I wonder what this was when the Chozo were still around. Looks like a swimming pool. Bird bath. I don't have to begin my statements. Does anybody know if you're right? I should just say it. I should just assume there is a Metroid superfan in the audience that will know before I have to ask. To the entrusted one. If you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. 
Your path is fraught, for da fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs. Believing in the black promise of the great poison, they seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true and trusted one. Recording to None know if our temple, the Cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around that abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe the power of Cypher, which has been produced by linking the Twelve Artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is, is approaching. Many Chozo are gifted with the distant sight, and even more begin to learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days on the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies, and the most common, tell of the coming of the worm. Born from parasites, nurtured in a poison womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark potent portent. Potent. I ruined I'm sorry I ruined the bird lore. This cordite stature is statue is worn and weathered. Statue or scan indicates the presence of a power conduit behind the statue. I'm just gonna insert words. What breaks cordite again? Was it a super missile? Oh, oh no, that was oh it was my wave buster. Oh, I have a Whoops, there we go. Okay. Did I fix it? Something behind the wall seems to have been activated. I guess I have to scan it first before it's officially online. Do I need a quick breath? No? Oh, good. You know what? Let me take a sip of water. Give me, give me a second here. Don't worry, I know I'm still muted. Taking a long sippy. Uh, sorry, it just went down a little weird. I needed <laughs> need more time. Oh, thank you. Oh, and posture check. Thank you. There we go. <clears throat> oh, missile door. Hang on, let me just... Oop. Okay. I feel, am I missing another switch in this room so I can activate more spider ball track to get up there? Or is there, there are more power conduits and I just can't see them right now because I don't have the right visor for it. Perhaps. Oh boy. That one looks like it should have like a thing behind it, but it's not, nothing is coming up on my scan visor, so I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's a different, it's a different visor thing. I can get up there? What am I missing then? There must be something that I've neglected to scan or activate. Oh, bother. That Neil Cicerega remix made you forget what the actual Ghostbusters theme sounds like. I guess, for the record, uh, for those who are watching in the future, everybody, well, not everybody, but there's people in chat uh, reiterating Bustin' makes me feel good. Bustin', 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 Bustin'. Oh, where? I hate that I feel like I'm staring at it. There must be something else I can activate. Yeah, I know the ball slide is active, but I can't get it up there. So, I feel like there's another power conduit or something. But I don't know where. And it's really bothering me. 
You know that that those moments in streams where everybody in chat notices something before you do? The regular peanut gallery. Ugh. Wait, oh, can I get up there with my sweet half pipe moves? That's right, I forgot I could get some sick air. Wow, I forgot I could get up that high. Now how am I gonna get up here? Ugh, there we go. Genuinely forgot that I could trick that high up. Wow. I thought there was like another switch, but no. Samus is just that cool. You know, I agree. I like seeing people figure that kind of stuff out on their own. And that's one of the reasons I'm very grateful that I have such a good chat that doesn't backseat unless asked. Very much appreciated. I saw a ways back a bit of someone streaming Animal Well, which I've talked about. If you like Metroid games, big recommendation. Definitely play Animal Well. I think you would like it. Um, but a big part of the appeal is figuring things out on your own. And the person I saw streaming it, like, their chat was trying to backseat them and telling them, oh, you can use these items to do this and you can do this trick. And, I mean, you know, however someone wants to experience a game is valid. And I'm not gonna, you know, get mad at someone or say, like, oh, you're playing the game wrong. But just feeling this, this pang of not regret, but like, it's sad that they're not getting to experience the joy of discovery and experimentation on their own, you know? Samus can do the 900. You know what? I like to think that Tony Hawk's reputation is such that even here in the far corners of the universe, people know who he is. Only the holder of the Twelve shall face the worm. It was an Alaskan bullworm. You can actually get to the second spider track from the first one in one go. You drop from the first one and boost ball to the second in one seamless transition. Ooh. Uh-oh. Identified as a statue of a Chozo Elder, I'm very glad that I get to read this before this thing tries to kill me. According to Chozo lore, these statues served as the watchful guardians of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty, as if awaiting an offering. Hmm. Hello. Aberration. Chozo Ghost. Spectral Entity. Bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types, such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon and the Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites, where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. This is all because I blew up those, uh, that, that one statue in the icy area right before fighting the Mama She-Goth, isn't it? Did I do it? I did it. Bustin' makes me feel good. I have not played Dread yet, but soon. I have been playing Fusion in my free time. I started it this weekend, so I can play Dread. Ponder your orb, O oh Chozo Elder. Oh no, there's something- oh no, no, I, I need to play Dread to understand what people are, are thinking about. Thank you for no spoilers, whatever it may be. Feels a little disrespectful to get up there by climbing on this this statue. Oh, hang on, there's bird lore. Oh, the bye bye man's tag. Oh, the bye bye man's tagline. I see. 
things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail, existing in a single dimension. They are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat the evil seeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness meet its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reasoning of its own, though. This will be the Great One's trial. Sorry, the Entrusted One's trial. I just inserted a whole new word there. I mean, I am pretty great, but I don't know how that happens. Good gravy. Chozo Ruins Translated. Hollow banner text reads, The Hall of the Ethers. Oh, it's just printed everywhere. Just in case anybody in the Hall of the Elders forgets that they're in the Hall of the Elders. The Elders' greatest power lies beyond the second law. Radiation collector designed to absorb and store solar energy. They appear largely decorative. Why would they be decorative then? What's the point then? Or you have these solar panels just to flex on your neighbors? Safety shield online, window secure. What an odd thing to point out. Not like I would break that or anything. The field covering this slot is comprised of an erratic energy wavelength. The field covering this slot is comprised of an energy signal that appears to be affected by heat. Not that one. Nope. There we go. The field covering this slot is comprised of an energy signal that appears to be affected by cold. Okay. <laughs> the encrusted one. That's how I felt after my, my impromptu nap this afternoon. I'm the encrusted one. I can get up this way. You played the NES Metroid as a kid in the mid-90s and loved it so much you even drew maps on paper. Hardcore! You never had an NES so, or SNES so you never knew about Super Metroid. And you never played Metroid True 2, so you went straight from NES Troid to this. Oh man. What, like, a striking upgrade this must have felt like. Okay, hang on, how do I actually get up there? I'm just faffing about, but for reels. Oh, I can. I get on this overhang. Okay. There we go. Now we ballin'. But yeah, that is awesome. I'm very impressed you drew your own maps, especially as a child. I have unfortunately always been allergic to writing things down in games. It's a problem. A new path has been opened, huh? Oh, hang on. Let me just get in here. This room is really special with its music. It does feel holy. And then... Eat. Chozo Bowling! Why do we have a pinball launcher in the, the Hall of Elders? It is very nice how much Retro respected the IP. I do remember reading that there was a lot of pushback when this game was first announced. Safety shield offline, use caution near window. Oh, it's just it's just gone. I wanted to break it. You've robbed me of the satisfaction. Oh hang on, I just noticed on my map the recharge room. I could I could avail myself of that, I think. Yeah, here? Yeah, here. Can't an elder bird have a hobby in a form of pinball? It's also indicative of the Chozo's love for Tom and Jerry-esque navigational contraptions. You know, I- oh, I don't know how I managed to do that twice. <laughs> Hang on, fill her up again. Um, was I, what was I saying? I, I, it's fun to extrapolate on the Chozo and the Space Pirates just based on the environmental storytelling. 
Maybe I'm getting the wrong ideas about some things, I don't know. But, it's still fun for me. I do want more missiles, it's true. I mean, I did not have enough earlier, and it perplexed me. What's this? Drainage shut off his holding, maintaining the water level of the reflecting pool at 95%. I could be skateboarding in here right now. Fractures detected in telluric alloy drain cover. The cover still functions, but its integrity is unstable. I don't think I have anything that will break telluric alloy, but I never remember offhand. Oh, it's you guys again. I mean, I guess I could go down here and try dropping a bomb. Drain cover, drain cover. Oh, nope, I can't break it. Sammy Hawk's intergalactic pro skater. Now we're talking. It probably less than a hundred percent to avoid flooding. Ow. I don't know what I expected, really. Sorry, dude. The Stone Toad Steve Oss. Is that what we're calling them now? You know, question. Are there any Chozo that are named in the series lore? Mostly I'm thinking about the, uh, the Chozo lore, talking about how they can see the future. And thinking, I, I should get uh, a Zatu in Pokemon and name it after... Okay, there is name Chozos. Get a Zatu and name it. Oh, look at this. Ice Beam. I like how there's yep, yes, yes, yep. Probably. Woohoo. Yes, I would like to read the additional data. I love data. The ice beam can freeze enemies solid. Hits from the ice beam may also slow enemies down. Use the ice beam to open ice doors. The ice beam is quite effective against fire-based creatures. Charge the ice beam to increase the time an enemy will stay frozen when hit. So, pardon me, frozen enemies can be shattered by missile hits. If the names are not spoilers for other games, then yeah, I, uh, I am curious what Chozo nomenclature is like. Oh yeah, there's there's manga. Um, I don't know if there's like standalone manga, because I know Joe, you mentioned there was one that was like packed with Metroid Zero Mission or something, but only in Japan. There is a canon Metroid manga, so I do remember here leads to, I think, the, um, the Crash Frigate. Surprise, the Frigate from the start of the game is crashed, and I think this is where this tunnel leads. And I don't need to go there right now, so I'm not going to. I'm going to go in this door. Well, it wasn't packed with it, but it was released to coincide with it. So I'm gonna have to go find a, uh, a fan translation. A scanlation, rather. I didn't fall into the trap yet, because I fell into the trap before. Been there. Your guess is that all the Chozo names in Ozo. Gilozo? Reliozo? Bozo? Yeah, that's my favorite Chozo. Bozo. So, um, my knowledge of Metroid lore is unfortunately piecemeal, because I've only played some of the games. I'd like to play more, working on it, and I've not read the supplementary materials. But my knowledge is that, so, Samus was born to human parents, and then Ridley killed, like, everybody in that, that space colony. Except for small child. And now because he could not kill small child, he hates Small Child with a passion. And now Small Child has gotten large and is now perpetually giving Ridley the middle finger. Spiritually. 
Roxo, the rock and roll Chozo. Now we're talking. So the, the point I'm getting at, though, is that so Samus's name is not not a Chozo given name. This was her name given to her by human parents. There's things down there. Once. <laughs> I love... Yeah, I don't even know what that was being... Uh, that was a reply to. I just see the message in chat. I do bird cocaine. I'm sure... Excuse me. I'm sure the Chozo probably have the good stuff. Do not do bird cocaine. Unless you're a bird, I guess. It's gotta be like a thing in here, right? Why would you have that plant there if you're not gonna have a thing in here for me to get? It's probably like an upgrade somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. Pods. I guess I just climb up the spider rail track. I seem to recall there is a path down below, but the lock to open it is on the other side of this, this gate. There it is. A standard spinner device. Gate lock engaged. The controls are on the other side. Tantalizingly dangled in front of my nose. Seamus, I think, is her, her Irish counterpart. Seamus Oran. <laughs> Your dad once called Samus Seamus. There you go. No shame in that. <laughs> Give Samus an Irish accent. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do an Irish accent. It's not one I've, I've heard very often. And I only really learn how to do accents, and I say do accents really loosely, really loosely, by hearing them enough. And that is one I've only heard very rarely. Analysis of wall shows rampant weakness due to severe water saturation. Large traces of vendasium detected. What breaks vendasium again? This thing? No. Missile? Super missile. Oh, wait, that's not. Hang on. Oh, that doesn't break it either. Well, can I break Vendasium? Oh, heck. I don't remember now. Sandstone Telluric Alloy, that's what that breaks. Uh, none of these would break it. Can I not? Radiant or Brimstone? Hmm. Hmm. Cordite. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't... I can't break this? I can't go this way? Well, heck. I came all this way up here for nothing. Typical. Typical. That's just... That's just a common Metroid thing, isn't it? At least that's happened to me many times is that you get all the way somewhere and then you realize, oh, I, I don't have an item necessary to progress further. Never mind, just kidding. You love that the, the turn that this chat has taken into what to label as Chosapioids? <laughs> Bird Chosane, the lead singer of the band Fendron. Very good. I was going to add to that, but never mind. You know, I read Bird Chosane, and I was going to make a Nirvana joke, but then I got beaten to the punch. How dare you be funnier than me in my own chat? Not that it's hard. Okay. So, oh look, the toads are back. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Um, I guess I'll just go back this way and go into the ice doors over there. Stop trying to lure me to the frigate. I've done my time. No more. I'm not making the long walk of shame back to the top. Is the ghost back? The ghost is probably back. Yeah. I wish you didn't respawn so readily. Oh, there's three of them. 
You know, there doesn't need to be three of you. I remember these, these fellas drove me crazy, not because they were difficult to deal with, but just time-consuming. Waiting for them to phase in and out of existence. Ugh. Are you done? Are you good? Are we finished? Okay. No, there's there's still one of them. Ugh. I should have known this is why people in chat were bringing up the Ghostbusters theme, or at least the Neil Cicerega version. I should have realized what was forthcoming, but somehow I felt like those guys didn't show up until later. But no. The ghostly gas had died again. Don't worry, it won't take. It never does. Some players try and go to the frigate early, it's okay. Even you've done it once. Yeah, we've all done it. Once. Okay. Give me the yeet. So I wonder if this statue is accurate to what Chozo looked like. Do you ever see living Chozo in the games? Yeet. Oh. I'll take you that. Thank you. No comment. Oh ho. Okay, I guess I shouldn't ask these things. And let it be a surprise. Just kidding. Disregard. It's a redacted. I'm just fascinated by the bird lore. I want more bird lore. Tell me about Samus's bird dads. What do Chozo taste like? Oh no, chicken, obviously, but oh no. Okay, which door will lead me the least forward? Okay, lies beyond the second lock. So I assume I can, like, go in here, but then I'm gonna get stuck or stopped by something else. But let's go in here anyway and see. Oh, oh, this is just... Okay, I see, I see. That just leads back here, okay. Then never mind. Chorizo! Oh! We have a winner! I'm sorry, Sparrow takes it. Really? Hang on, let me just look at my map here. So now I can open ice doors. Uh, so now I can go elsewhere. Um, so I can't go that way. Where? Uh, where did I see ice doors that I couldn't get in before? Now I have to look at my map and figure out where am I going. Because uh, this evidently is not useful to me right now. Um, I guess I can just... Thinking here. So, this Chowan Overworld South, right? the heck? Homer Simpson voice. Use any beam. Which beam is the any beam? Oh, man. There was ice doors and I can't remember where they are now and it's haunting me. Okay, here. Here's some ice doors. Great Tree Hall. Chozo Ruins South. Okay. Life Grove Tunnel. Oh, where... Do you mind? I'm sorry, I'm having a navigational crisis here, so I guess I will go... I will go in the frigate path. I were there- I was there a few minutes ago, oh goody. And I just went backwards, wasting everyone's time. Especially my own. Ugh, can you- can you guys not respawn so readily? Hang on, I'm just- I'm having a navigational crisis. Okay, I need to go this way. 
I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, when you're you're stuck with no one to hunt for I don't know how many years it's been, then yeah, I would get restless too. Okay. Samus's footsteps on those metal floors come through very clearly on your headphones for some reason and it trips you up every time. I do not have good headphones on like connected to this PC. These headphones sound awful and honestly I should get some better ones actually just so I can do some better sound editing work. Um, but uh, I haven't gotten around to the to it to that yet. Okay, so I guess I'll just go through that door since I can't make progress there. Excuse me. Okay. Some people argue that leading people into a huge dead end like the frigate is terrible because of the time-consuming aspect, but isn't that part of what makes these games good? Such a fine balance. I agree. And I mean, I guess, like... You roll your eyes as you, you desperately try and climb back up. But I don't mind. I like the exploration. It's all part of the journey. Stone Toad Steve sorry, Stone Toad Steve Austin's won't even harm you on contact. Best boys. You know what I'm afraid of picking up is my pal Luce's habit of calling everybody the boy. I feel like you can't call everybody the boy, because if everybody is the boy, then no one is. Not to, like, paraphrase the Incredibles or anything, but my point stands. Ow. Yeah, I walked into that. You have to leave for less fun reasons to keep your work credentials current. Ugh, my condolences. Ah, Tangleweed. They're a V-boy. Gosh darn it, okay. I don't think that should hurt me. Why are those hurting me? I'm in my cool suit. Why do those penetrate my cool suit? Oh good, you guys. Can I just like... That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, bliss. Okay, I gotta ask, because I remember this bothering me when I played um, Prime myself the first time. From down there, can you get up here? Is it possible to get up here from down there? Because I remember trying to get back up here from down here, and I couldn't do it. I tried, and I just... It drove me crazy. You cannot... Okay, okay, good. So I did not fruitlessly waste my time in agony. I think that's why, like, going down here too early was so bad, because then you miss out on the upgrades, and then you have to go all the way back. Thankfully, I don't think that happened to me. I think I went back before jumping down here, but all the same. Okay, anything I need up here before I jump down? Probably still something up here that I'm going to miss, but I'm going to jump down anyway. Do a flip! Come on, Samus, you did a cool flip at the start. Oh, hey, you're still... <laughs> you're still alive, just kidding. How terrible for you. I can't go into a new room without pulling out my scan visor first. It's just not done. All right. Turning around. Try a somersault! Is that what you wanted? I know that's what you wanted. Samus is flippant about her flips. And maybe she knows she has to save them for the right moment. Otherwise they're not special anymore. How would you already respawn? You have to let me get at least two rooms away before you respawn. All right, that's how it works. Have a good one, Dak. I hope you get to play this game soon. Treat yourself. Okay, is there, are there any more pirates that want to cause me a problem? No? Okay, good. I'm going under. 
Every game should have Peppy yelling helpful tips at you. People liked Peppy, right? I like Peppy hair. It was all the love for Falco I didn't understand. Like, he's so mean to you. Why did everybody like Falco the best? He's rude. He doesn't respect me. Or my piloting skills. Gotta be a time an anomaly that causes all the respawning. Maybe it's just more of an effect of the phase on. Look at this. This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the phazon compound the space pirates were using in their biological experiments. I think you should touch it. <laughs> For science. But that, that feels like a hazard. Someone should really clean that up. But also, don't you just want to touch it? I like that you can hear the um, the crackle of the, uh, the the Geiger counter kind of thing as you're, you're near this, this ooze. I want to touch it. Doesn't it look so eminently touchable? You'll never understand the folks who love grumpy types who treat them like crap. Like, like, Sundere characters. And I, I don't say this to dunk on people who like Sundere characters. In fact, I'm pretty sure I, there's at least one known Sundere enjoyer here right now. But, uh, it's, it is not my cup of tea. No judgment. Not for me. I don't like it when people are rude to me. I like characters like Morgana from Persona 5. Just a little buddy that comes around with you and, and says encouraging things to you. Yeah, who's that, Kapotoko? I, I have no idea. You know, I've, you know I've, despite I, there are fans of My Hero Academia on my feed, so I see it intermittently, and yet I've never heard anyone call it macadamia, and I'm so disappointed because that's so good. You do think there's a, your bully actually deeply respects you and doesn't know how to deal with it allure there. Okay, but I have to see the respect first and then we can talk. Okay, so I need to find Ice Beam Door. I'm trying to remember where I've seen Ice Beam Door. Now, it would be nice to find Ice Beam Door before my scan visor jumps in and says, Hey, genius, Ice Beam Door. But I'm going to poke around now, regardless, and hope I... Okay, here's one. The workstation tunnel. That's right. That's a thing. That's right, because I got disappointed I couldn't get further along there. Um, now, I don't know if that's ultimately progress, but I'm going to try going there. So let's see, Talon Overworld West. So I need to go find that elevator. That elevator was this way, I think. The stand should be called Macadamia Nuts. No, you definitely had to deliver that final parting Bon Mud. Looks very good. The obvious cus- sorry, the obnoxious customer yelling at you secretly respects you. That's what you tell yourself. That's how, how we sleep at night, those, those, those of us who have to work in customer service. I've not actually been yelled at. I have not witnessed yelling. I've heard stories of it happening in places that I've worked, but I've not encountered it personally, thankful, thankfully. Is my hero, Sam, my hero Sammy Akadakado finished? I, I did hear that it's ending pretty soon in like five chapters. This is all uh, secondhand knowledge as someone who has not read it or watched it. I find Shonen tends to go on a bit long for my blood. Also, did I walk past the elevator I need? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. This is not, this is not where I need to go. I just, I went to the wrong place, I think, no. No, wait, where's the Magmore Caverns? No, this is where I need to go. Okay, no, this is correct. I doubted myself like a fool. You've been yelled at numerous times. You just tell yourself that prison will keep you from talking to your friends. Honestly, there should be some sort of, of comeuppance for, for customers that feel they have the, uh, 
what is the word I want? The, the latitude to yell at people. That's never okay. Oh, here, here we go. Here's my scan visor going. You're taking too long. Unusual gravity patterns analyzed. Gravity pulses within Fendrana area. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Why is there a gravity chamber? I'm just going entirely the wrong way. This is not where I need to go. Okay, uh, I need to go. Oh, this door. Oh, it's that door. Okay. I just took the wrong one. Nope, nope. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, okay. Sorry, I have to open the map every 30 seconds. Because this is what Magpie Brain does to you. There is a faster way. Oh, oh. Ain't that how it usually goes? You should be allowed to yell at one customer a month with more for good behavior. I wouldn't want to yell, though. I mean, you may or may not be able to surmise from listening to my very delicate inflection, but I'm not a yeller. I am not, not a yelling person, and no, you may not take me behind the shed with a shotgun, just so we're clear. But I feel like, not yelling, maybe you get like one slap a month, like one dope slap to a customer a month. At least the latitude to say, what is wrong with you? Yeah, there was definitely a faster way, but yeah, I'm, I'm here now. Ugh. I went the worst way possible. Excuse me. I'm just face tanking everything now. This is, this is still better than trying to navigate Sector 2, Metroid Fusion, with all those wasps. Dear God, heck those guys. I think I talked about it maybe a bit during Yoshi's Island, but the bit where you fight that spider boss, again, who designed that boss? Who hurt you? I just want to talk. The fact that it's so far from a save point. And then the whole bit after where you get you have to get chased around by SAX. I mean, there's a save point uh, be between those things, which is great. But there's no recharge room, and you don't get your life restored in save points in those games. You need a separate room for it. And getting from the save room to where SAX chases you in Sector 2 of Fusion, there's a bunch of these wasp creatures that do so much damage when you bonk into them, and you have to climb up a room using the space jump. And uh, I would keep bonking into these wasps on my way up, despite trying to save my health for the SAX encounter. And, uh, because I found if I didn't... Like, I, I went in with, like, half my health remaining, but SAX would just kill you in, like, two hits anyway, so I had to grind. And those ding-dang wasps would keep bonking into me and taking up big chunks of my health. Also, looking at chat away from my, my ranting, that is horrifying customer behavior. And I'm so sorry that, like, somebody thought they could do that to you. I had an alarming customer experience, and I'm not that, not nearly that forward. But I did once have a guy reach over the counter and put his hand on my shoulder. And I had to step back, and very politely, I may say, say, uh, please don't do that. And he got very affronted. It's like, please don't do that, especially because I'm in a job where I have to be nice to you. Don't do that. Yeah, those wasps are insanely strong. What is in the Kool-Aid they're drinking, honestly? You know, I've- I've- I've mentioned on stream before, but I've- I've had people mention 
Like, you know, how, how do you order fancy things in a coffee shop without feeling like a jerk? And honestly, you can customize as, what, as much as you want, as much as your local coffee shop will allow you to do. Just be nice. Honestly. Just be nice. Be a decent human being. Is this not... This looks breakable. Have I not broken this? I did break that, it just did not stay broken, I guess. Boy, I really could have gone a more efficient way, and I didn't. Oh well, I guess I just have to keep going. Ugh. Oh, we're in here for the long haul. Quickest way to lose all faith in humanity, retail. Honestly. Yeah, that's the thing, is that you're at the mercy of customer behavior. And that a lot of the times you are not given the latitude to stand up for yourself, which is very frustrating. Oh, I can just get over here now, because I can jump real good. Good job, Samus. When are we going to get another Mario and Sonic at the, the uh, Olympic Games, but this time featuring Samus from the Super Metroid series? Yes, I know there were jetpack pirates behind me. I'm choosing to ignore them. I'm going to hope that they'll leave. There we go. I'm already in here for the long haul, taking the long way across Magmore. So why spend even more time fighting those guys? Okay, I'm at the workstation. It's full of jetpack pirates now. Uh, okay, I just gotta keep going. Gotta keep going this way. Oh, Ice Beam, my beloved. I think the Plasma Beam is the most strongest, but just being able to freeze those guys and saying no is really nice. Okay, this is where I need to keep going, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still can't break this, right? Yeah, Bendazium. I can't break Bendazium yet. Can we get Mario and Sonic at the Thursday Night Trivia? Now, I would, I would genuinely play that. If you had a, a game that was all about trivia questions for the Mario and Sonic franchise, sign me up. I think I have a lot more useless, random Mario knowledge, because there are many Sonic games I've not played, but I'm still a Sonic fan, and I would still have a good time with it. Ice Beam is so chill, isn't it? Risky with fast-moving creatures, it's true, but it's just so effective. Don't give me the eat, you little eat, little guy. I can't, I can't even properly respond to that joke, Boogie, because I think I made that high embendazium joke last stream. So legally, I'm not allowed. Also, I'm sorry I keep pulling out the map every 30 seconds, but I'm afraid I will get distracted and get turned around and then go back the way I came. Again, I think my navigational skills are much more on point when I'm playing by myself, but streamer brain is real. Streamer brain very real. Elevator coming up is the faster way, yeah. It sure was. We could have we could have skipped all this. But then where would we be? We would miss out on this this glorious journey together. Talking about Customer service? Retail hell? Never mind, I've made a terrible mistake. Sorry, I'm utilizing the game to my personal preference. Yeah, how dare I? Restart the whole game. In fact, we, we need to start back from the beginning. I'm gonna go and play the original Metroid. And then I'll get back to you. I get directionally in cha challenge, you get impatient. Oh, I definitely get impatient too, trust me. I think, and anyone who streams or has streamed in the past can verify that when you are playing a game while also attempting to be reasonably engaging with your commentary and also potentially reading a chat, uh, 
little things that you take for granted suddenly become a lot more difficult because your attention is split in multiple directions. So tasks that would be much easier, or at least uh, simple enough that they would not be worth remarking on when playing solo, can become a lot more... not a lot, but certainly more challenging when you're on camera, so to speak. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm lucky, like, well, I don't know if lucky is the word, but I, I don't do, um, you know, face cam stuff, so I don't have to worry about lighting and personal presentation and whatnot, which is great. I can just hear in my, sit here in my jammies. I mean, people probably stream in their jammies, too, but if, if I were a streamer of that sort, I would try and maintain at least a little decorum. Okay, we're almost here. Can I just I say I can I just ignore you guys, but I really shouldn't. That's when I started the stream. And I took so much damage from dealing with these guys poorly. So maybe I'll try and be a little smarter about it. I should wait until they're not zipping around to fire my slow moving ice beam at them. Okay. And then let's see. Let me use that safe station there. Well, I should be fine. I mean, now if this was Metroid Fusion, that would be famous last words. Because I've died several times in Metroid Fusion, because again, enemies in that game hit like a truck. But here I should be okay, I think. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually going to the safe station anyway, just kidding. Didn't, didn't mean to, got turned around, but here we are. Here we are now. Entertain us. I feel stupid, but there's Samus. Exactly, Bird Chosane. Hey, don't take the elevator, don't take the elevator, don't take the elevator. That's true, I am very lucky and I'm graced with people not trying to backseat me, which, again, I'm very appreciative of. Yeah, those whole- those wasps during the power outage. But you know what? They all respawned again! Come on, guys. Look, I'm just- excuse me. Excuse me. Alright. Alright. Oh, wait. Can I- I can't get through here. Can't I? No, I can't break Bendazium. But is this not where I was supposed to go? Hang on, I'm having another crisis. Time to backseat. Aim your gun thingy at the bad guys and shoot them foolproof strat. <laughs> Too late, Capodico, I read it. That's not where the hint was to- oh. See, I just disregarded it because I'm like, I know where I'm going. This is- Oh, there's a door up there. There's a little ice door up there. Well, now these guys. And how nice of you to all just kind of congregate. Ugh. I'm sick of all of you. It's not, it's not a blind playthrough per se. I have played this game once before, but I don't remember very much of it. So, basically a blind playthrough. So I am going to walk past things and backtrack unnecessarily and get things wrong. I'm kind of close to where I need to be, thank goodness. I just saw my my hint system be like going to Magmore and like, yeah, I know. I totally forgot that that tunnel was blocked. If I could pin, pin it on my map. You haven't played Prime since 2017, 2018, so your memory is just a big old... Well, I'm glad... I'd say I'm glad it's not just me, but I played this more recently than that. But it was only my first time through, so... Okay, I want to get up there. Uh, can I make it up here from... I'm dead! Ow, 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 oh, hurty. Hot potato. I want up. stand on top of you when you're like, ow, oh, no I can't, no I can't, ah, uh, jeez, ow, 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost surprised this uh, remaster does not retro... Oh, look at this. Rotating lift platforms are in working order. How do I not... Uh, how do I make them not work? How do I... Well, I shouldn't break them. I want to utilize them. So there must be something I can jump onto, maybe. Unless there's like a grapple beam point that I'm overlooking and as I can't get up here anyway. But... I want up. I, should, I feel like I should be able to get up on there. Oh, here. You kind of want to try Metroid Prime Rib. Oh, it is a grapple beam point. Okay, I can't get up here. Yeah, pins on the map, I think, is the least intrusive quality of life they could have added. I love being able to pin stuff. Okay, so here is evidently a wash, but I'm near where I need to go. Oh. Can I... Can I see where the hint was pointing at me again? Because I just ignored it, thinking, oh yeah, no, I'm going to the right spot. No. So I can't get up here without the grapple beam. I can't get through here without... Uh, whatever will break Bendazium. Hmm. Okay. The hint- oh, the hint is still on the map? And I'm just not looking at it. Oh, I'm close to where I need to be, aren't I? But where is it? Oh, I see. It's the- wherever the question mark is, but I have to look to where the question mark is. It's not going to show the question mark on this big overview, is it? No, of course. Why would it do that? Why would it show me that kind of information? Oh, uh, maybe I'm... It's in Fendrana instead? Maybe it's in Fendrana. They did mention Fendrana. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want this. Okay, yeah, the research core. Okay, that's where I'm going. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So now I need to find the closest elevator, which thankfully shouldn't be too far. Magmar Cavern South. Okay. So I just need to find the, the nearest Fendrana elevator, which is here. So I, I am indeed close to where I need to be. Okay. I just have to, yeah, make sure I'm facing the right direction. Ooh. Can I just say that I'm proud of everyone for making Metroid rhymes in the chat again? Anyway, we all know Metroid, uh, other M is the Metroid Prime. Like, no contest. Ugh, I'm sick of you guys. I mean, I know space pirates are supposed to be a, a persistent foe and all that, but please. Can you get a hobby that isn't killing me? Have you tried, I don't know, macrame? Knitting. Maybe knit, like, a nice, uh, doily for your jetpack. It will be instantly incinerated, but that'll be a good excuse to make another one to pass more time instead of shooting me! Uh, I'm just- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna walk through this. Okay. Uh, let me- let me just avail myself this. Okay. You had a thought last week where you said to yourself, Metroid Prime must face the crime of being sublime. And seeing all of chat unpack it like that makes you feel better. <laughs> I concur. You think Samus likes pickles? Call that a Metroid brine. Oh, have I been up here? Did I have a spider ball when I came here last? I don't know. I'm going in here. No, I, I guess... No, I did I did come up here, but I couldn't get in here, so I'm gonna go in here now. Now, I don't know if this is gonna lead me to where I need to go, or if I'm gonna get, like, part of the way through here and just wind up disappointed again, but... Hang on. Is there a thing... in the ice? This ice blocks a tunnel. Oh, a blast of heat should be able to clear it out of the way. Well, can't help you there. Oh yeah, I love this music. 
Are there more jetpack pirates in this room? This feels like a, a room him primed for jetpack pirates. Well, I know where I need to go. Oh. Well, that looks promising. I'm close to where I need to go, so... I guess... Should I just drop down? Wait. You can always backtrack to, to old topics, by the way. There's there's no statue of limitations, I think, on anything discussed in this stream. I scanned you guys, right? Yeah, I did. Ooh, why do I have the wave beam out? I don't want that. I mean, I do want it for this door, but not to fight guys. Oh, no. Ugh. Please. Oh, I'm, I'm in here again. You know, do I want to be here in the dark zone again? I'll check my map and confirm once these turrets have stopped. Oh, please. Hang on, let me just... Okay. I need to go all the way over there. This is the research core. Um, so I don't think I need to be in here because I've been in here. Uh, let me try the lower door in that previous room. As soon as I find my way out of the darkness from whence I came. Let me out. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong weapon. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I guess I could just drop down instead of walking down this this path. You know, out of respect to Samus's ankles, I don't. But also, I, I don't want to miss anything. Cool. Probably something cool under oh under here, but I can't get it. Oh, a gel zap. I think that's what you're called, a gel zap. Yeah. Aquatic predator made of electric electrically bound skeletal halves. The gel zap's brain is located in the upper half of its body, while the heart and digestive tract occupy the lower half. Linked only by electrical impulses, the two halves somehow function effectively enough to launch the gel zap to the top of Talon 4's aquatic food chain. Hey, you think you're so cool. Actually, you are pretty cool. You're, you're going to electrocute me. Please don't. Uh so hard to see under here when you don't have the gravity suit. Oh, I need to find a, a ramp. I need to find a gentle incline. Let me up. Okay. Oh, have a good one. Good luck with the Metroid grind. I hope no one yells at you. a door under there. Oh, I just but I just can't get to it right now. Um, yeah, I can't. There's no way for me to jump up there right now. I think that's part of the appeal of the series to me in as much as of what I've played of Metroid is yeah, it's sort of got a, a puzzle-like component to it. And I think Prime sort of exemplifies that well, just because you're exploring these expansive natural environments as opposed to something like uh, Fusion, which is all man-made. Or even Super Metroid had, I mean, even though you were in these natural environments, it, the maps naturally had a, a, a grid-like structure to them, but there's more freedom here. I think, with the, the shapes of the rooms and all that, if that makes sense. And it's fun sort of organically figuring out how to navigate the environment. And again, I don't have to just randomly bomb walls all the time in hopes that I find progress. Get out of here. Did, did you learn nothing from the demise of your friend? Nope. Goodies. Nope. Oh, 
Ow. What did I just step in? I don't even know what hurt me there. Stub my toe. Glider. Docile airborne creature with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live a re relatively peaceful existence. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it said reluctantly peaceful existence. They have a magnetic signature attuned to common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding involves using a grapple beam to attach to a glider, then staying on it as long as possible. I would like to compete in glider riding. Oh, hello. Oh. Big Troid. Hunter Metroid. Adolescent Metroid. Energy Siphon tentacles increase its threat level. As Metroids develop, they become more efficient predators. Energy draining tentacles allow them to attack at a distance. Quick to anger, a Hunter Metroid will charge troublesome prey and attempt to ram them into submission. Cold based attacks are still quite effective against these creatures. They're like, oops, that's not my ice cream. They're like the Chuni versions of Metroids. The edgy teenage Metroids. Yeah, you know, the Chozo just invented a sport that only they can do. Was I heading in the right direction before? Now, I'm reading this chat message late. When you say that, is this the correct direction? It's not a phase on, Mom. Thank you. It's very good. <laughs> Thank you for pinning that. This is the correct direction, right? Please. Okay, thank you. you know, when you read messages late, right? Because I don't see everything in chat. Ugh. Missile. Missile expansion. I know there's... Yeah. Yeah. I hope this... Is this... Am I actually hitting... No, I don't think I'm actually hitting it. I'm not actually hitting it, am I? No, I don't... Oh, I am hitting it. It just didn't feel like I was hitting it. Is there another one up there? Uh, object out of scanning range. Uh, hey, there's a door behind me. I think there's like a save station up there. Can I reach? Not presently. Not this way. Okay, let's see. Also out of scanning range, but that also looks like a thing I can knock over. Yeah, okay. What if I just... No. You're making me use all those missiles. I can't lock onto it is the thing. Like, I can scan it, but I can't lock onto this thing. So that's why I'm not sure if I'm actually knocking this thing loose or not. Or I'm just fruitlessly wasting my missiles on nothing. Which uh, may very well be what I'm doing right now. Wasting my missiles. Oh, it's supposed to only take one. It's just finicky with the hitbox. I see. You know, if I can bring up Metroid Fusion again. Why does that security robot, and I know I said this this word for word on Twitter, why does it have a hitbox that's like a pixel? The toughest part of that fight was just hitting it. Well, actually, no, the other tough part of the fight was, was clinging to the, the, the ladder above. I don't know why I had such a hard time jumping on it. If I can lock on, I can interact with it, but I can scan it. Well, not from here. But I want up to that room, so I have to knock this over. So I can scan it, but I, there's just no lock on. I'm gonna go through every single missile I have trying to knock this down. Where Where's the sweet spot? Is that is that what that security robot name is? Or his name? Just Box. I really will use every missile on this, apparently. There we go! Oh yeah, it's just... You know, I thought you just had to shoot the base of it, but I guess there's just one spot. Oh, I see this divot in it. 
you know, I never noticed that. I thought it was just you have to shoot the base at it until it decides you've shot it enough. Good job. But yeah, heck that guy. Heck that security robot and his teeny tiny hitbox. All Metroids destined for phase-on ranges in the mines must pass inspection. I want to see Metroid inspection. What does that look like? Do you, like, squeeze them like a little squeaky toy to see if they're good or not? Temperature Affiliated Behavioral Index for Metroids is available at all research terminals. Access code LIF22. That was the whole thing, right? I didn't... yeah. Is that it? I wanted more post-it notes. They do need Zelda-esque boss labels. Plus, you know, you, you spend so much time in a game with a scan visor, and then you go to an older one where you can't read every little bit of lore on every creature you encounter. Yeah, Metroid Prime-esque scanning. Need to retroactively go back in the series. Also, this ice tunnel looks really cool and adds scan features. Oh, great. Uh, it's like, I want to strafe so I don't get hit by all their missiles, but I also, you know, need to stay relatively steady so I can hit them. There we go. Okay, is that is that everybody? I'll take that. Slurp. Metroid needs a Chow minigame, but Metroids. Yes, unironically, yes. I want a Chow guard, but with Metroids. <laughs> Genius. Oh, I just... Did I go backwards? No, I didn't. I was looking at this room, or the room I'm in, and thinking it was this room, and I thought, did I go backwards? No, they just look very similar. Similar architecture. Okay. Can I go up? Or do I have to go down first? Well, I can't grapple, so I think I have to go down first. Oop. No, this is too far down. Oh, there's gel zaps in here. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I can go in here. I can go here, it's fine. You want to raise your Metroids into queens and then make them karate fight one another. Yes. Baby fights. And don't forget baby races, too. I want little Metroid races. I also said this on Twitter, but... I find I have some difficulty parsing Metroids as the galactic level threats they are because my brain just wants to parse them as, as little guys. They're just little guys. They're little creatures. I see one and I'm like, oh hey bud, because they make me think of my cat. Rounded edges, pointy bits, uh, relentlessly clingy. If they sit on you, they will drain all your energy and make you unwilling to move. I'm sure now I hit all these sweet spots. I can't believe it took me so long to realize there's specific divots on those those uh, stalactites that you can break. And I thought, I'm just not hitting them with enough missiles. Oh, jeez. They shed constantly. What do Metroids shed? up on this this fallen stalactite. My jump height is greatly hindered down here. Oh, here we go. Ugh, let me out. Let me out. Okay. Excess energy. But uh, I, I don't need a lint roller to pick up excess energy. I feel like it should be goopier than that if they shed. Do you stop it? I don't have time to be witty. Sorry, there's there's things, there's parasites in my way. Is there another stalactite that I failed to knock down that is impeding my progress? No. I guess I just need to get across by jumping on them. Wait. No, 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 I don't want to go back in the water. No. Oh, release me. Oh, it's so hard to see. 
I need some sort of like like a, a headlamp. I briefly forgot the word headlamp, and my brain only wanted to say windshield wiper, but I there is no windshield wiper big enough to deal with this amount of water. Where? Where are the, the little hills I can climb? There they are. It's so dark in here, I can't see. And these gel zaps are not helping. They're making my visor go all wacky. Okay, okay. I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of these parasites, so I stop... Stop targeting the gel zap. I don't want to target the gel zap. I'm going to get rid of these things. Good, good. Metroid 2 is a bunch of different stages of the Metroid life cycle, and you get to see their shed skin. I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't acquire um, the remake of Metroid 2 for the DS before the whole eShop shutting down. But you know, so many games and money. It's a big thing is money. Now, this is where I came in from, so this is not helpful. I need to get to the other side and not hit these gel zaps. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. Spending the whole stream in this one stupid room. Okay. One, two. Okay. Okay. One. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna. Okay. Does this game have auto tar? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it might have some sort of aim assist, but I haven't used it. Only the the built-in lock-on feature by holding. <sighs> ZL. Yeah, I think what Kapodoko said that the uh, charge beam is a homing effect and the wave beam has a slight homing effect too. Oh, please, please. Gelza made you look up electric eels, and did you know? They can shock you for at least eight hours after death. Yeah, very much. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Okay. This is actually where I need to go, right? I'm not just uselessly beating my head against a wall in a terrible room. Okay. When I was rapidly shooting the tiny enemies, it looked like some bullets curved. Oh. Maybe I just have really good aim, huh? What about that? Uh-huh, gravity pulses within Fendrana area. Wow. Right here? Oh, the door is right there. Why didn't- well, you're right, why didn't I just go through the door? Because I wanted to keep going, I guess, like a fool. That <laughs> you're allowed. You're allowed when I get distracted and turned around, that's okay. Magpie brain real. Dear God, magpie brain is so real. Oh, I sure would love to be able to see what I'm doing. What's all this? What's all this then? Aqua Reaper. Powerful aquatic tentacle, part of a submerged organism. Similar in nature to the surface-based reaper vine, the Aqua Reaper has adapted to a liquid environment. It shares the poor vision of its rock-dwelling cousin, relying on a crude sonar sense to seek prey. Unhindered by water, the Aqua Reaper has considerable speed and strength. Everything here is just cousins with everything else, isn't it? Okay, anything unscanned here? No. I don't really want to go down in there. Because it's going to be a pain to get back up, but I guess I don't have a choice, do I? I just want to get rid of this gel zap, if nothing else. Oh, boy. How do I get rid of gel zap? Am only really vulnerable when it opens its core? Do a missile it, maybe? Will ice beam work? Ice beam? Freeze? Ah, uh, Bliss. I mean, at least there's good tunes when I'm bumbling around in the dark. Here we go. Promising. Promising. Yeah, Samus just walked into a huge family reunion. 
the entire family is just irradiated. But then that's what family reunions feel like. Oh ho! Gravity suit. Why is it here? I don't know. What can I get? Let me up. There we go. Chozo, please, and Lupala, make up! suit acquired. More importantly, I can see underwater. Movement in liquid environments is no longer hindered. Uh, sweet, merciful heavens. The gravity suit eliminates the effects of liquid on movement. This modification improves the suit's defensive shielding. The gravity suit allows for improved movement in liquid environments, but does not reduce damage delivered when exposed to hazardous fluids, so don't go dunking yourself in lava. Visor modifications in the gravity suit make it easier to see underwater. Why was it here? Just chilling in this little alcove. I mean, I'm not complaining. I will happily take it. But I'm the kind of person who thinks entirely too hard about world-building implications uh, in the way games are structured. Hello, fish. You're frozen. Okay, let me peek this map. Okay, there's a door up to my right. Oh. Okay, that's near where I came in, so I don't want this door. I want door over this way. I'm just hitting the ceiling. Oh, it's so nice to have freedom of movement underwater. Liberating. Ugh. Sorry, what is this about? The suit deemed too silly to have a serious dramatic conversation with. And her suit is just, oh, that game. What do you mean it's just imagined in that game? Oh, I made this thing mad. I sent you drone. Hang on, hang on, sorry, wait, wait, just a minute, just, a, just a, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. So impatient. Okay, oh, this just loops back here, I see, I see. So that moment in a Metroid game where you get an upgrade and think, oh great, now I have to go find all the places where I need to use it again. Did I just get turned around? Yeah, I did. Mario, why? I don't know. I don't know every time. <laughs> I like how I see the preface with, okay, so, like, oh no, this, this is gonna be good. I wish I mean terrible, but I, I, I mean, I want to hear. Man, Sammy, they did you so dirty in that game. And I'm really glad that we as a society and also game developers as game developers have moved beyond certain other games. And they do not have, I assume, lasting lore implications on the rest of the franchise. Because that, that would be really gutting. If the obnoxious characterization somehow became like the, the, the de facto go-to. I am down here now. She can just decide when her armor appears. It just dissolves in midair. The gravity suit in that game was instead just a pink blue, or sorry, a pink glow. They originally gave her the gra proper purple gravity suit, but the director went, why is she purple? Change that. Saying it didn't look right for Samus to be wearing purple in serious cutscenes. Yeah, serious cutscenes like the baby. The baby. That's all I know, really, is the baby, and I think that's all one really needs to know. And why it's so disrespectful as a whole. I would like another game, and maybe the other Prime games go into this more. I don't know, I haven't gotten to play them yet, but more into Samus's characterization. Um, 
in a respectful way and not a uh, other M way. So I would like to know more about her as a person. But I would like them to characterize her as a person and not, um, well, she is a girl and we need to characterize her as a girl. Otherwise, people won't know they're playing as a girl and they have to know they're playing as a girl. Oh, sorry, I'm very frustrated by this kind of thing. Can you tell? More baffling is that the director was also the director of Super Metroid where the gravity suit originated. You're playing yourself, dude! Okay, so I have the gravity suit. Oh, is it time? Is it time to go to uh, the frigate? I'm thinking here. Now what? So I don't want to go on another unnecessarily long trek. So what is the fastest way? Would I go to Magmar Cavern South? It is time. Well, I have the suit now though, so it's okay. I don't have to climb all the way back up from the bottom. Oh, I can't even get to that top door, can I? Because of the... you need the grapple beam for it, so... Never mind. Um, yeah, what is this quarantine cave? So I guess I go left, I guess, just the, the leftmost door in this room. Okay. Go to that Magmar elevator and then the first Talon elevator. Thank you! I, I can't get here from this room because I don't have the grapple beam right, so I have to go to a different elevator. Oh, wait, going through here? Oh, not through here. Not through here. I see. I thought I couldn't get through here or couldn't get through there because there's the grapple beam points. Just kidding. Why? Why? I say it every time. Why do you respawn so fast? Honestly, two room limit. Ugh. Okay. You know that song, uh, since you mentioned Rafiki, that song that you mentioned he sings, the squash banana. I can't think about it without thinking of that one specific vine of someone singing it while they're, um, they're bouncing on a tree branch and then the branch breaks. That's, that's all I could think of. In fact, for the longest time, I forgot that song was in The Lion King. I can't get up here. What am I, what am I thinking then? I thought there were grapple points and I'm just losing my mind. No, I'm just crazy. But I have the wrong weapon equipped. Everything the gravity suit touches is our kingdom. Don't you mean the pink glow? Everything the pink glow from the gravity suit, the idea of the gravity suit touches is your kingdom. Okay, Magmar Elevator, Talon Elevator. They really didn't want this for cutscenes, huh? I think it looks pretty cool. I like the orange best. But I think this iteration of the gravity suit with the, uh, the blue highlights looks pretty good. Should I... Eh. Okay, those, those pirates are going to be in my way. Was the composer for this game, because I don't remember offhand, was the composer for this game the same as the one for Super Metroid? Her name escapes me. Okay. So I want to go left. Nope. 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 No. Samus going, ugh, is not out of pain, but irritation. Like, you guys again? Yeah. Just recharge a little bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Kenji Yamamoto, thank you. 
good stuff, I gotta say. I'm, uh, well, pleased that Retro was able to get him to do the soundtrack, too. Because I think also part of Metroid's appeal is, um, not ambience per se, but it's just that, that isolated alien feeling, and I think the soundtrack does a lot to add to that. You know, speaking as someone who's only played a couple of Metroid games, but still. The ones I've played, that is the impression that I get. I mean, there are melodies in it. And I think... I mean, I like soundtracks with actual melodies, too, but I think one must consider what one is attempting to do with the score of a particular game. And I think in the... Uh, for, for Metroid's case, I think having a lot of more ambient tracks and less with overarching melodies probably works more in its favor to craft the kind of environments, the experience that they're going for. If that makes sense? We still don't know who the composer for Prime 4 is, but most of the fandom hopes he is back. I hope so, too. Or if not Kenji Yamamoto, then something at least with a similar style? I suppose they could do their own thing, as long as it fits the scope, of the feeling of the story that they're trying to tell. If that makes sense. Some, sometimes I'm articulate on stream. And sometimes I do that dopey thing where I'm taking damage or falling off something and I extend my words like a fool. I gotta watch that the trailer again um, to appreciate uh, the music in it because I've only seen it the, the first time when I saw it in the direct. The music from the trailer sounds very primey and so far. That's that's good to know. It's uh, uh, hopeful news. I'm sure I'm sure people have already picked apart that trailer. I'm sure like people have already like squeezed every second of content they could out of that trailer and done like really in-depth analysis videos on it. You know, like when, when we got the, the one trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, all the gaming news out, outlets desperately trying to squeeze as much out of, like, you know, whatever, how much, like, a minute of footage they could as possible. As Nintendo fans are apt to do, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, especially when you're really excited for something, you gotta, you gotta look for all those details. It's just kind of funny. Yeah, honestly, the most important sector of that trailer was the scanning. That's what I was most excited about. And I thought, like, oh good, they know their audience. They know that people want their scan visor. We want the lore. I didn't think you were joking. I'm not joking. Since I can go underwater, is there any, any, anything in here for me that I could get? Probably not, but... They have a good, uh, a good night. I was gonna say good stream, a good night and a good sabbatical. Man, I forgot to pick this up. Whoops. Hip Tanaka, who's the original composer for the NES Troid, Nest Troid, I guess I should say, wanted to create a soundtrack that wasn't all melodies and happy tunes, which was the norm back then. He wanted to compose. Music for the game as if it were a living creature, said by himself. So ambiance and weird sounding music is part of Metroid's identity musically. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think he made the correct choice um, not going for something really melodic. Again, as was the time, especially on the NES, when you think about melodic soundtracks. You know, you think about stuff like Mario and Zelda, which did a lot to enhance those games, but something like, like, um, you know, the, the Mario 1-1 theme would sound very out of place in a game like Metroid.
think this is the way back to the frigate. Oh, yes. Hello. Missed! It's a little awkward to char- I can't- I can't charge the beam. Oh, yes I can. I've been using the A button to charge, and I forgot you could hold the right trigger to charge up a shot, too. So I was having to, to take my hand off the right stick. Do you mind to charge up a shot? And then I would have to, uh, you know, just hope I was facing the correct direction when I launched it. Oh, oh I want... Can I get... Or do I need the grapple beam for that? I feel like I should be able to get that now. Since I can, I can jump. Hang on. There we go. I can get it now. Okay, good. It, it helps to know, um, am I fruitlessly ag throwing myself at something to no avail, or is it actually doable? Uh, get up there. Come on, Sammy, stand on the root. I want you to stand on the root, Sammy. I don't think she can stand on the root. Alright. I guess I don't need to stand on the roof. There we go. Well, now I'm curious to hear Dredd's music for myself, since different composer, I guess. Dredd was developed by, um, what's the studio's name? Mercury... Is it Mercury Steam or something? The same studio that did, um, uh, the remake of Metroid 2, I think. like a little secret cave. Is there something in the secret cave for me? No? Is there nothing in here? Is this just a useful, a useless little outcropping? Oops. Oh, there's a, there's a little ice door down below. Hello, fish. Can I get to it? Here? I feel like I'm, I'm looking at it, like it's in front of me. Up here. This is that little cave I was in. Oh. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Well, who is the composer then for Dread and the Metroid 2 remake. Since it sounds like it wasn't uh, Kenji... I've, I've already forgotten his last name. I'm so sorry, sir. You, you tip of my tongue. Tip of my tongue. Can't get up here. Maybe that's what I need the grapple beam for, since there's that grapple point. Or it's just there to make your, your, your journey across the water more expedient for a smoother gaming experience. I'm on the wrong side. I want to be over here. Jeez. Never underestimate my ability to get turned around at a second to none. Okay, now I need to go here. Why can I not get up? Where up? I want up. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Is there a canon reason Samus can't swim? I assume her power armor is just entirely too heavy. I don't think this thing is very conducive to us swimming. Oh, there's an alcove with a hole, and I'm just not seeing it. Even with the gravity suit, it's so dark. Alcove, a hole. Oh. That's why, this little, this little cave that I was talking about there being secrets in, there was an alcove, and I just didn't see it. Because it's too dark. But we're here now. ready for pain. The little cave had a littler cave. It had a baby cave. Oh, Kenji Yamamoto did the music for Samus's return, or at least like a fourth of it. Hmm. What about Dread then? Who was the composer for that? That doesn't look safe.
wonder if I can find all my goldfish crackers that I dropped in the frigate explosion. New composures entirely for Dread. Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Alright, well that wasn't as graceful. Well, I, you know what? I completely forgot that chat told me about last time was the whole... The missile cancelling trick. I forgot that was a thing you could do. I gotta try and do that again. This door is no power. Oh. A nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. The conduit radiates some heat that is invisible in the normal spectrum. How specific. Door machine broke. There we go. I forget so often that those power conduits that you can reveal with the, uh, the thermal visor are a thing. Normally in a game like this, when I get a different visor, I go around everywhere with my new tool and try it everywhere to see if I can spot secrets. But the thermal visor is kind of unpleasant to use for long stretches of time, so I don't. Soshi Abe and Sayako Doi for Wikipedia. Well, I'm curious to hear Dread's music when I get to it. I'm, I'm going to disregard the points of contention I've heard about it and see how I feel. Uh, it's a good thing the music down here is nice. Oh, hello. Aqua Pirate. Space pirates with exoskeletons modified for underwater use. Using modified thruster packs and gravity suit technology, the space pirates have armor suits for use in liquid environments. Thermal tracking is still very useful against these units, as the pirate engineers have yet to eliminate the thruster pack's high heat signature. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta use the super missile and just vaporize them from existence. Feels so good. So cathartic. The thermal visor is much of an improvement compared, or so much of an improvement compared to the original. That's harrowing to think about. So like, this was worse. I didn't even realize there were going to be power conduits I had to hit. Or rather, I forgot. But hey, how lucky. I think there's, like, reaper vines down in this pit. Uh, okay. Let's see. There's probably more. It's up here I need to go. This door has no power. Yep. Okay, where? Oh, no, that's not what I need to do. This is what I need to do. Ah, oh, okay, I got them all. In the the thermal visor in the original game was all neat and looked clean. They went with a different direction. Apparently, thermal vision is exactly like this in real life. Well, I respect the verisimilitude, but also my eyes. Primary door control is inoperable. Auxiliary controls must be used. Primary door control- why, did, why is it two scans? To tell me the same thing. Door machine broke. Yes, I will save. Thank you. One sec, I'm just gonna take a sippy of water here. There we go. Yeah, I only have 90 missiles. May as well use them, right? But then they go so fast without realizing. I'm the kind of person where, and I don't mean this is in, in like a pessimistic glass half empty thing, but um, like I'll have say 100 missiles and I'll use 10. And then I'll think, ooh, geez, I'm gonna run out of missiles. Ooh, I better, I better be careful. I'm gonna have no more missiles for when I really need them. I don't know why, it's just, it's a problem I have. You gonna open? 
Oh, there, there we go. Get it, get it open. Please. There, there you go. Why are you shy? I remember I got all the way here without the gravity suit, and I tried to get up here. And I remember, like, going on this box and thinking, like, oh, maybe I can just make it with my space jump, and then, and then the game helpfully informed me. Like, no, no, you need the gravity suit. You fool. You dope. You bozo. And now you get to do the whole walk of shame. Or the agonized climb of shame all the way back to the top of the frigate. Awful, horrible, but I guess a Metroid Prime rite of passage. You know what? I know I know Dak is not here because ah uh, jeez, he wanted to play this game for himself. And I hope he does. And I kinda hope that he also, you know, goes down to the frigate. Ow, come on, give me a chance. You know, all about that sense of exploration. And, and then realizing, like, oh, I, I can't make progress here, and now I have to go all the way back up. Does Samus keep in contact with Link after meeting him in Smash Bros? I feel like maybe she should take some pointers from him about learning some warp songs from an ocarina. Oh, hey, dude. Yep, Space Pirate. This, this one, this one is, uh... He dead? Yeah, it's he dead. Fortunately, I can't use their body as a stepping stool. As funny as that would be. Ugh. Samus definitely has Pikachu's phone number. <laughs> okay, I should I should have I should have seen this coming. Um, of course, I can't I can't reach them from all the way up here. No, of course of course not. I have to go back down. Ugh. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. I mean, my health, but that's less of a concern at this moment. Oh, is there one more? Oh, man. Ugh. Another rite of passage going through this room without realizing there's a prerequisite. You think I would have- I would have clued in, because the other rooms also have disabled locks. Oh. Go back in your hole. I have to shoot the very tip, I guess. Okay, let me just make sure I haven't missed another one along the way somewhere. Because that would be terrible. Okay, another, another sweep. I didn't miss another one, I hope. I really hope. No, I'm missing one. Oh, I did say three, but where's the other one? There's so much visual noise going on, I can't see where the third one is. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Ugh. Please, my retinas. There's so much visual noise because of all the little fish, too. Oob. Okay, let me just look around a little more. Who designed this ship? I mean, a space pirate, evidently, but... What's wrong with your engineers? I mean, obviously they didn't foresee this... this whole ship crashing and then needing oh here we go needing to be repowered it's the very bottom of course it's at the very bottom and where where else would it be of course it would be at the very bottom the feeling when you're backtracking in one room ah oh, well we did it I mean, in retrospect, if I was a game designer and I was setting up a room like this, knowing, okay, the player is going to get to the top and then realize, oh darn, there are all these power conduit conduits that I should have activated. Of course, I would put one at the very bottom of the room, just to be annoying. I mean, Retro is based in Canada, aren't they? They're in British Columbia, I think. 
I think? I want to say they're in Salmon Arm, unless I'm thinking of another Canadian game dev. Hello, Belle. Oh, they're in Texas. Who am I thinking of? Who's the developer that did um, the uh, punch out on the Wii? That's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, thank you. You're doing great, champ. Keep it up. It'd be fun to get one's foot in the door for, like, game design or something, but I don't have the degree for that. That costs so much money. And who has money in this day and age? Ha! 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 Uh, Mario, are you okay? No, never. Not once. I just jump down. Oh. oh. Hello. Aqua drone. Security mecha adapted for use in underwater areas. The space pirates have adapted a number of sentry drones for use in liquid environments. These aqua drones utilize an arsenal and artificial intelligence suites similar to their cousins. The pirates have been unable to properly shield these drones from electrical attack, making them vulnerable to the wave beam. Everything's cousins though. Maybe they should be like like siblings or something. Yeah, heck this thing, heck this thing, heck this thing. That was a lot of missiles, I don't care. Heck this thing. Yeah, I guess all the, the, the wave buster is more expedient. Very expensive. Oh, all of these logs lost, broken till time. Oh, how many power conduits? Three, okay. Absolutely do not get into game dev in a physical studio. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard is um, the whole crunch culture and all the studio closures. I guess when I say game, de game dev would be fun, I mean in the, not a hypothetical exactly sense. The the maybe I do mean hypothetical sense. I need to yeah, here we go. Get back up top. Or I, I feel like there's aspects of it I would be good at. Like just game design from a user perspective. I don't know how to how to explain it. Like, anticipating what would be good features that people would appreciate in this game. Like, pins on a map. I'm- one of the reasons I'm looking forward to playing Dread, aside from all the other aspects of Dread, is that it has some sort of pin system, or at least, uh, will give you more information on its map, which thank- thank goodness. From someone who has chronic magpie brain, thank you. Yeah, they did Luigi's Mansion 3. I didn't actually know they did Mario Kart 7. I did know about Donkey Kong Country Returns, but not Mario Kart 7. Impressive resume indeed. Oh hey, more more of you guys. Wait. Okay, charge Oh, I got both of them, I think. Charging with the R button. Or the sorry, the right trigger. And then using the R button to fire a missile still feels awkward. I feel like there's no there's no configuration that is entirely comfortable versus using the A button to charge and then pressing R, even though I can't use my right stick while I'm doing that. Is this room also filled with power conduits? I mean, why even ask? Just pull out the thermal visor. Get to work. Oh, no, I can't reach that from here. There's a thing in the way. Have they released any information about what studio is working on Brothership? The other uh, new Mario and Luigi game? Nintendo's very cagey about um, an 
announcing like uh, the studios working on stuff, aren't they? Fast travel does make it easy to miss things, it's true, but I think at that point that's on the player, right? I mean, even in games with fast travel, sometimes I won't use it and I'll manually walk through places so I can investigate and pick up things I might have missed. Um, oh, I just, I just went backwards, so I didn't, I didn't stop. Um, I mean, I would like to have the option of fast travel just so when I don't feel like making the long trek from point A to point B, or I have a new item that I want to try out, or I have a theory about how to get past some sort of obstacle, I just want to quickly get over there and try it, you know? So having some sort of like a warp whistle would be great. I don't know if Samus is musically inclined. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, it's not funny. It's a dead body, but it's just... He's ragdolling. Well, food for the fishes now. You know, pretty well preserved for, uh... Being stuck under here for so long. Alright, where are they? Are there no power conduits in here? Color me shocked. Oh, the door just works. Hallelujah. See, I've heard about the former Jairus from Alpha Dream, but I don't know, does anybody have a source on that? Because I feel like I've heard people mention it, but I've never seen a source. I mean, I hope it would be former devs from Alpha Dream, so, you know, they work on the series that they themselves built. And would know what they're doing with it. Stop that. Samus plays a theremin built into the armor for suit. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I would accept that as the, the warp whistle equivalent for this game. Hiding the team pre-release is the correct choice. It helps prevent leaks, and if the team has a neutral rep, it stops people online complaining before the game is ready to be tested and reviewed. You are very correct. Honestly, like, there's, there's no good solution. I mean, excuse me, knowing Nintendo fans and how Nintendo fans be, well, when I say Nintendo fans, I say it in the same tone that I would say, like, capital G gamers. They love to complain. Lordy, they love to complain. Intense radiation detected. Don't go in the soup. Yeah, gamers, capital G, trademark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's also true. Backtracking lets you get familiar with the areas. Um, so you can detect things that look abnormal along the way. I think maybe... I don't know. Fast travel? How would you do fast travel in a Metroid game? Without... Um, discouraging people from backtracking. Like, leave it as a late unlock? Or make it limited? I don't know. I guess it doesn't take that long to get from point A to point B in this game. Time for the fun zone! I don't remember the fun zone. Oh, the phase on, the fun zone. The mines! The children yearn for the phase on mines. Some say you can still hear Mallow toiling away at them to this day. Object out of scanning range. I'm pretty sure it's a grapple beam point, though. Spoilers. Oh, many thing for me to scan. There's a save room up there. I'm pretty sure there's a save room up there. If my memory is anything to go by. What's this? <laughs> Secondary force field control disabled. Oh. Like, let me scan things before you start shooting me. Although I say that, um, it is actually quite late. I should probably call it an evening. I mean, if the phase on mines gauntlet is this next part. Oh, I think I would want to be refreshed. Heck, for the phase on mines gauntlet. 
Yeah, I gotta protect my wrists is the other thing. Uh, oh, I thought I got rid of it. It didn't get it with... There we go. There we go. Where? I want to at least open the way forward. Dual control force field is online. Deactivation controls are likely nearby. I mean, let me... Yeah, here we go. Let me at least, like, set myself up. That's true. If fast travel were a thing, you would have less missiles and energy tanks. There, yeah, it's just, I'm trying to think, how could one do a fast travel system in a Metroid game? Except for, I guess, giving players the option. But with the knowledge that if you're using fast travel, you're likely missing things. I guess I just want the option for it. When I just, I just want to get from point A to point B. Is there a space pirate in there? I see you. Oh, he saw me. Hey, dude. Several dudes. It's kind of odd seeing terrestrial space pirates now. After, um... <laughs> after all the, the ones with the jetpacks. And jetpacks waterlogged edition. <laughs> I hope Samus, if not giggles to herself when they ragdoll, at least smiles a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look, life is a tire fire. You gotta find joy where you can, you know? Crane unit scan indicates recent use. Device is currently inactive. Time to press all the buttons with my scan visor. The crane controls are functional but require power. A power conduit is nearby. Oh, my favorite. I love power conduits. Report all phase on mutations to science team immediately. All units with useful mutations will receive an increase in pay and rations. Elite and trooper candidates are now being selected by commands. What constitutes a useful mutation? Versus like... Oh, yeah, that's Greg. He got like... Three pinkies out of the phase on Raw deal. Transfer of building materials is complete. Processing of materials for Xenom containment units underway. Power conduit. Why have a power conduit? Oh, here, here it is. Uh. There. Fixed. The more you play, the more one would use that option 100% of the time. I suppose one can't discount that. I like to think I would have some restraint. I am the kind of person who will do things the hard way. Because I will enjoy the journey. But I can see that being a... Uh-oh. Uh, a problem. I thought I heard the, the beeping for saying, like, this is time and the crane is going to move back. But it's not. It's not time. I just need to get up there. Uh, other side. Here we go. I want... The upgrade. What I would really like is more energy tanks. Those are the best kind of upgrades. Not that I don't like also being able to, to shoot guys with more super missiles. Oops. Get in there. Get in there. You played all of Breath of the Wild without fast travel. It was a whole other experience. 90% horse. That's so much horse. Why can I not unmorph ball? It's just going beep at me. There we go. I could not unball. While I was on that platform, ball was life. Okay, I should go to the save station and save. Rest my wrists. Prepare for next time. There were energy tanks I missed during the frigate. Oh. I mean, I could always go back on my own time, right? That is a thing I could do. Save station access granted be so mean if it's like save station access denied why because i don't like you you're purple 
And that's not a cool color, apparently. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the input from the more seasoned Metroid veterans as well. Not just for my navigational concerns, thank you for stopping me from going all the way across Magmore again, but also answering my questions with regards to the lore of the series. I'm the kind of person where I just hoover up information. I gotta know more details, so I love that kind of stuff. Um, but in the meantime, I must unfortunately call it an evening. I'm kind of debating if I want to do an extra stream on the weekend since it's a long weekend, but I might also just take the opportunity to rest because it's it's been a long week. I don't know. We'll see. I have this weird impulse to play Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color because that's when I initially started doing my Gorilla Random Saturday streams. It was Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Thinking no one's gonna want to watch me actually play Mario Golf, so I'm gonna do it on uh, a weekend when it's less of a problem. But for now, we'll figure that out. And on Tuesday, I don't know if I'm gonna see if I can't get the other stages in Yoshi or just do more Prime. We'll see. Whatever I'm feeling. But in the meantime, have a wonderful weekend, everyone. You stay safe, stay healthy, take care, and I will catch you next time. Good night.